Did you catch that last fluctuation? <laughs> hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy. To What's up, Doc? Pray tell, where could one find more toner for the fax machine? <laughs> yes. Ah, Freeman. Ah, Gordon. There you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that had a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. <laughs> Waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. You have no idea what's Greetings, going on. Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're, they're a bit strange to just... Oh, it's about to go critical. By Beckrell's ghost. Radiation level is off the charts. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. 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 Oh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for the for the for us. Uh, this is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you have to say that. Although I will admit, admit the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel com Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong, wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. 